Hi, everybody. Welcome into Word for Wednesday on a, on a beautiful day. It's a little chilly outside, but the sun is shining, and there are many things for us to be thankful for. One of them is that I'm glad that you've joined me today for an encouraging thought in the middle of the week. You know, in recent days, I've, I've heard people say or I've read about people using a, a new expression in interesting ways. The expression that I've been hearing about is the expression 2020, and I've heard it to be a, an insult, a derogatory description, or even a, an expletive. Uh, memes abound on the internet that show a picture of something terrible described as if 2020 were, like uh, the picture of a bag of chips and, and the, the flavor is orange juice and toothpaste. <laughs> and the sign reads, if 2020 were a bag of chips. Or the one that shows a picture of the head coach of the team up north. And it says, if 2020 were a football coach. I I've heard people use 2020 as a direct insult towards other people. You are such a 2020. <laughs> it's become a common theme. And, and, and things like, th that's always broken. It's such a 2020. I even saw on Facebook a post that used it as a, a low-key expletive when one was relating a story of hitting their thumb with a hammer and, and how they shouted out, oh, 2020. While I find uh, the humor in these and the truth in these, I wonder if we can't think of some more positive and, and meaningful ways to use a moniker like 2020. You know, moving forward, I have some ideas. I've been journaling about this lately. I've been thinking about this lately, and, and I'll just share these with you and see what you think. What if we use the name 2020 as a modern-day version of the old term Ebenezer? Uh, no, I don't mean the, the Scrooge character from the Dickens Christmas Carol. I mean the biblical idea of an Ebenezer, a monument erected to commemorate an event that one could not have faced and successfully navigated had it not been for God's help. Many times in the Bible, we read of God's people who they're facing an enormous challenge, an impossible challenge, something they, a hardship that they can't overcome, only to have God bring them through it successfully. And often these were celebrated with the building of an Ebenezer, a monument, usually a big pile of stones that would remind them for generations to come how God brought them through a particularly hard time. That monument, that Ebenezer, came to mean, with God's help, we succeeded when we couldn't on our own. And I wonder if 2020 couldn't be like that. Maybe 2020 can, can remind us of a time that God threw, threw us, saw us through a hard time. What if years from now we could say in a difficult time, hey, we're going to get through this. God will see us through. After all, remember 2020? Or here's another. What about the expression 2020 to mean uh, the silver lining in the cloud? What if we use 2020 to mean an, an unexpected and, and less than obvious blessing from a difficult time? I think we can all agree that there have been hardships. But some of these hardships ha have offered some unique blessings and memories that we couldn't possibly have imagined or foreseen or even hoped for. There have been some truly beautiful and, and unexpectedly happy moments in this past year. I would never have imagined a situation in which I would have the, the, the wonderful uh, opportunity for all nine members of my family to live under my roof for six weeks. I couldn't have guessed that I would give my daughter away at her wedding in my backyard, at a wedding officiated by her oldest brother, where her bridesmaids were her younger brothers. What if years from now we use 2020 to mean that? Like, that great tax refund was a real 2020 after the year of unemployment I've suffered through. An unexpected blessing in a hard time. The last one I'll share with you is one that I've actually begun using myself, and it's to make 2020 a descriptor. It's part of the phrase 2020 style, which I've used a lot lately. I've used that expression 2020 style to describe social distancing. The other day I said we had a 2020 style visit with our neighbors, meaning we stayed six feet apart with masks. I've used it to describe virtual and distance working situations, like I had a 2020-style staff meeting today, meaning that we met on Zoom. But more significantly, I've used it to mean learning valuable lessons in tough times. Just the other day, I said to someone in my family, I learned that lesson 2020-style, meaning I learned it the hard way. I learned it in a difficult moment. But it's also meant for me a newfound appreciation for things I've never slowed down to notice because I also said the other day that I've had a 2020-style gratitude for things like sunny days, long walks on the nature trail with my family, and good meals and quiet nights together at home. I don't know how you'll remember 2020, or I don't know how you'll use this new expression that everybody seems to be using, but I hope you'll find ways to remember it positively 
and to use the new expression in happy ways. I hope you will be well. Be blessed. I love you all, and I hope you to have a very wonderful middle of the week.